Good evening. The Swanson Street wall collapse has claimed a third victim, with 18-year-old Bridget Jones passing away this morning. Her distraught parents have now lost both their children in the tragedy, so the siblings were walking to meet their father to watch the first Carlton game of the season. Chloe Bigelli reports. Their 19-year-old son Alexander died trying to save his sister when the brick wall came crashing down. Today, she lost her battle. Despite every effort of multiple teams of dedicated doctors and nurses who did all they could for Bridget over the last three days, Bridget has died this morning as a result of severe head injuries. Now having lost both children in Thursday's wall collapse, Ian and Sue Jones said in a statement they were incredibly proud of their kids who died while walking to meet their father to watch their beloved Blues play at the G. They were always kind-hearted and respectful. They had a wide network of friends and yet they were both very close to each other. The tragedy also claimed the life of a woman in her 30s, believed to be a foreign student from Mount Waverley. This afternoon, distraught friends comforted each other at the Brocon site. Also in disbelief, Figo Sio, who helped pull Bridget out of the rubble. We have already saw two people die, and the third one is on the ambulance. We saw that we, we finally see one. The number of tributes here is growing by the day, and it's become a place for family and friends to gather as they try and contemplate how something so horrific could happen. Meanwhile, a flood of messages of support. From Melbourne University, the offer of a memorial and their deepest condolences. The university community is deeply saddened and distressed. Our thoughts are with the Jones family and friends. On social media, an outpouring of grief. So hard to accept the loss of two children, one writes. Rest in paradise, you beautiful angels, says another. Many offering their sympathies to heartbroken parents. Just unfathomable and devastating, summing up the mood of many. While the Premier, Dennis Napthine, said his thoughts and prayers are with the family, promising the matter will be fully investigated by the coroner. Chloe Bigelli, Nine News.